Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host, Kieran, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Now, in this one, we are doing the bonus episode before we do the final stage. And um, what we're doing here, I'm just showing you what stuff you can unlock. So, you're probably wondering, there's no way you've done this all quick. Well, that's because I haven't. This is actually an old save file that I did many, many years ago. And um, I unlocked everything. I got all the A ranks. I got all the items. I got basically everything so we'll go to the child world first so and uh, i actually put a mod on for this so you can actually play as the two-player bold characters here which is pretty cool which I, I might show you them later like in a bit but first off i'm going to show you what the child world's like right so child world basically as you can tell it's a garden that you go into and you've got all these chow that lie about. And what you do with the chow is like you get these energy crystals and like fruits and animals that you get during regular levels. Like, and it's used to level up some chow. So you would go through here. And you've got two different kinds of competitions. You've got the race and you've got karate. So... I'm just going to show you a quick glimpse of the the race because I don't think I've shown this like in the other parts. So we've got beginner race, dual race, challenge race, hero and dark race. But for the purpose of this, this is just to show you all the stuff. So, right. I'm just going to use, um, yeah, let's use this one. This is Damien. <laughs> and I'll show you why all these chows look different in a second, but this is just a basic like to show you like how this works so racing like as you gathered it is a race through this gauntlet that you're going through as you can see the channels are lining up and then all you do because depending how powerful your channels are they usually breeze past this level like depending how powerful they are that's why you race up like certain stats as you can see this child's quite powerful so he 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 can swim as you can see the other one and the stamina that shows how long you can go for if you press a it actually it's like an encouragement like a cheer go yay go on damien so that boosts the stamina and it encourages him to move quicker but you don't want to do it too much because it will drain it far too quick. So that's all this is. There's loads of different ones, but I'm not going to show them all in this video. I'm just going to show you the basics of how these how these work. But that's roughly the idea. So you just keep going until your towel makes it to the finishing line, as you can quite clearly see. So yay. And that's how to do. And every, um, like, one... Oh, sorry. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> okay. Each place, like, that you do... Like, I've got a dark one and I've got an angel one. But we'll see. I'll show you why in a sec. But yeah. Each race actually has a... As a level. And it's got three difficulties or five, depending which one. And each three that you beat you unlock like a new little toy or a little equipment for your child and each um section that you beat like you beat everything in the you beat everything in each of these you get an emblem for it same being with the with the karate one once i get back into it so we go to child karate and then we go to tournament and then I'm going to pick key roll for this one. And you can tell I spent ages like leveling that up. So there, same thing. Each one of these that you beat, it will give you an emblem. So I'm going to give you a rough idea how this works. I'm just going to do beginner because they're all basically the same. It's just the difficulties and the stats of the chows that you fight later on are a bit higher. So the way this works, like 
because my child's quite overpowered, he might just brutalize these child's. But yeah, boom. As you can see, you just knock the child's out. And then you keep playing until like you win at the very end. And then round two, like I said, like normally you would um, like you basically do nothing. Like all you do is like if your child's stamina at the bottom here is at the bottom, you just press like A multiple times and it will encourage it to recover and be like, don't give up. You need to keep fighting and all that stuff. So, ha, <laughs> chow <-call. laughs> I love these names, man. Okay, so there's five rounds in each one. So you just knock them out. I feel really bad, like, beating these chows up. Like, they're so adorable. It's hard. It's harsh to beat them, man. So again, ba-boom. A <laughs> dinner. <laughs> just got a cooking pot on his head. <laughs> The semi-final. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's, I feel bad doing this. Like. Yep, yeah, that's how that's how it works. Like I said, I do feel bad doing this because I, I don't want to hurt the Charles. The Charles is just adorable, man. And we got happy. Oh, I'm so happy. And then... Same as usual, each place that you beat, you would get an emblem for it. But like I said, I've already got it 100%. Like I said, it was my old save file that I had many, 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 many years ago. Many years ago, I just started a new save for the Let's Play that I've been doing. Oh, sorry. I'm Ugh, quite knackered, actually. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it works. And now, you probably are thinking, like, you've got one child that looks like this which is quite odd. He's got a halo on his head, and there's another one that's over here. There it is. And he's like a demon. And the reason, like, if you're playing as a hero character, like Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and you raise a chow, they turn into the hero chows, which is the halo one here. If you play as a dark character, like Shadow, Rouge, or Eggman, you get a chow that looks like this. And the reason to do that is because back here, you actually unlock two new gardens. That's the regular child garden right here. Up here is the hero one, I think. Yeah, the hero garden. With a bit more of a heavenly sounding music. As you can see, a lovely water sprinkler here. And I never did know what these were for. Like, departure machine. Oh, yeah, that's in case you, like, you for some reason want to get rid of the chows. But nobody wants to do that. Like, we love chows. So... I'm not going to do that. Just try to get a look at the landscape. Look at that. Tidy little island. And that kind of looks like the... Well, if that was yellow, that would look like the clouds from Dragon Ball, like when Goku is running on Snake Way. Okay, so... So we've seen the hero one. And down here is the dark one. So this is the dark garden. Very Halloween-like, so this is a good little garden to go to if you're... Doing a Halloween episode or something. Haunted spooky tree. There's like tombstones here. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> Heck yes. And um, the fruit grow on these trees here. So all you gotta do is shake in it. Or just shake in it. Uh, you gotta shake them until the fruit, the, the, the fruit fall off the tree. Uh, and these would usually raise its stamina. So that's basically all it is. And back here, this is the Chow Kindergarten. So this is where you would buy like items and stuff, right? So if you have items that you brought here, you could sell it. I don't have anything. I'm just showing you what it is. So. You, you get rings by the amount of times you play the level and it adds up. So, that's almost Charles' theme, so... I don't know if I have that already. But yeah, you unlock rare items, like, depending how many... How many, um... Emblems that you get. And I think how many rings? But yeah, that's basically that. If you brought a Chow with you... This is Fortune Teller. This will be the person that names your chow or you can name him yourself or her this one here is the health center 
this will ex examine how the child's feeling like if he's feeling happy if he's feeling not well if he's feeling angry if he's feeling sad so oh dear i didn't mean to press that all right so see the doctor to get it and then there's the medical chart so and then you've got the principal who principal learn to raise and he gives you like tips like how to raise the child so he'll go like what's a child and getting to know getting to child garden raising the child child food getting the fruits so he's got basically everything you need to know about raising the child in the in the place and this here is actually a classroom this is the kindergarten so they have different lessons depending what day it's at or what time it's at so your child will be able to learn loads of things like drawing like music like it basically learn anything you pretty much want it to learn i'm not sure what the purpose of that is but it's a pretty cool little feature like to make it like you're raising like a child or something so pretty cool stuff so we've seen what we needed for the child garden so what we should look at next um like you saw there where it says like the homo child's theme um you go to i think it's extra there you go is it extra hold on yeah it's settings sorry options i've got the default like um thing to so menu screen theme so you can change it to any character you want so you've got sonic and he'll tell you like oh screen select and all that stuff got shadow rouge eggman i think that's maria not sure who that is who even is that let me know in the comments who that is we got Omo Chow. Who would want to pick Omo Chow? Amy, Tails, and Knuckles. So, example. If you select something. Um, customize your menu screen. Yeah, that's Sonic's like, customize your menu screen. So he's the one that tells you everything on the title screens and stuff. Depending which character you pick. So... We got x we got a bonus video up here but that's quite a long video from what i remember so we're not going to play that on this on this video so so but yeah it's basically behind the scenes of like sonic so or this game i should say but yep oh excuse me i'm so yawning anyway like come back up here so we've got these two here this boss so we've got hero side so it's gonna include all the boss fights from the hero side and then this one's all the dark side um, boss fight and this has every single one including the hero missions the dark missions and the final mission which we're gonna do in the next episode so that's basically all this is all the bosses for hero all the bosses for dark all the bosses in the game and then we've got cart race which i'm only gonna do one for now it's now Depending how many emblems you get, like, you need to, I think, you beat all the stages. Like, for example, like, if I go back to select stage, as you can see, each character for the levels that they played in their story, they've got five acts each. So the majority of the missions are exactly the same, no matter which um, character you're playing as. So it goes from whatever the regular level was to collect 100 rings, to find the last chow, to beat the level in a certain amount of time and to beat it in hard mode so that's the majority the only two that have different ones is tails's driving level and rouge's driving level that the ways theirs work is like oh catch up with tails or catch up to the president and then it goes from 100 rings to don't hit the cars don't hit the sides and hard mode which this is complete nonsense by the way hard mode is actually easier than this because you can't hit the side, but you can't slow down because you'll lose time because you need to do it at a certain amount of time. You can't speed up because you'll accidentally hit the bleeding wall. And that, that's Dan's game in itself. But yeah, each level has five acts. So you need to get an a all A ranks in these stages. And I'll show you why in a sec. Right, anyway, the cart race, like each character has five emblems that they get in each stage so if you get all the emblems like in those stages you unlock a new skin for them like in 
like this, for example. So we got Sonic, who's got the this car. That's his default car. Then you got this one that he unlocks when you beat all his ones. Then you got Tails' default one with the little chow. And then Knuckles' default one. And he has a smashing new car here. Shadow's default one. The one he upgrades to. Eggman's default one. And that's his upgraded one. And then Rouge is default one. And then you play <laughs> the egg roll ball, which is a pretty nice touch. So for this video, I'm just going to show you, give you a rough idea how it works. So let's do beginner. So as you can see, you're racing against about five other players, which is a bit unfair because each race, they always start you at the beginning, which is not really fair. Like, well, they, they always start you at the, 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 the back. Like... They never put you in front. It's like, what what doing? That's not fair. Like, why why did they get to be at the front and not me? Yeah, that's that's all this is. You're just basically racing against the other ones. The, the other players, I should say. And you're racing towards the end of the stage. So you've just got to win at first place in order to get the emblem. Which is um, pretty tricky if you're terrible at racing games, like me, for example. <laughs> racing games is not my thing. So if I'm terrible at drifting or whatever then you'll know why. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm do doing fairly all right. Like, it's been a long time since I've done this, so I don't exactly remember the routes or anything like that, or how the game works. I mean, I know how the regular game works, but not the driving part of it, because the driving part is pretty Dan's game. So, just keep going forward and just get good and beat everyone in the race. Just win the race, just win the race. I will not win the race. <laughs> oh, that is great. Okay, so we'll turn that way and... Um, oh, I missed that trail ring there, never mind. So we drive to here, boom, more speed. So it's just three laps in each... In each race you do, I believe. So we'll just turn here and drive down this way and turn this way. Now there are other skins that you can unlock in the game too, which is to, um, which is to, oh, what am I trying to say? It unlocks new skins for each of the characters in two player mode. So, yeah, I've, I've done fairly well. That's basically the driving aspect of it. Pretty dance game, but, you know, what can one do? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can try and find a way to show you the two-player skins. Um, just hang tight and I'll get to it. Okay, i got two controllers plugged in, so... Ready, ready. Right. Each character has a new skin, which I'm not sure how to... Go about doing that. Oh, I see. Yeah, look. If you go up like that, that means it's got a new skin. It's only, like, the default characters that have that, though. So, if you do that, that's a new outfit. So, I'll show you the speed characters' outfits first. Right, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm trying to select it, because I thought you would select it like that. But for some reason, it's not, it's not showing the new outfit. So, what I'm just going to do instead, I'm just going to show you each characters outfits like on screen right now and those are the outfits like i said i'm so sorry i couldn't get that because i have no idea how to do that I, I don't know what's going on i literally thought that's how you would do it but apparently apparently not okay i may as well show you what all the other characters are like right because in two-player mode, you get um, Metal S for the racing missions. Like you get Amy and Metal Sonic. In the treasure hunting one, you get Decal and Chaos. And in the shooting ones, you get this Chow and this Chow. So, and you you're probably wondering why is there two tails and two Eggmans here? Well, one that says M. That's the one with their machines normally, and these two are them on their own. <laughs> it's quite hilarious actually. But yeah. But Tails is actually pretty good on his own, but Eggman is quite hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, with the new characters, I'm going to show you ladies first. We'll try Amy in City Escape. So, here we go with Amy. 
So Amy is quite basic actually because she was really only a playable character for the the thingy. Like this is a mod that I've got on like to allow you to select characters, so it's just something for fun for the video. So I, I guess it's a fun thing to show. But yep, that's that's Amy. I just want to show you when she's not on the board. Yep. She doesn't really do anything. All she does is roll and she does homing attack. But um, she doesn't like have a hammer thing that she normally does. She only rolls. So she doesn't spin dash. So that's a bit of a downside to playing Amy. Although she does homing attack, which is pretty good. I'm not sure if she like dashes, but... Does she like dash? Oh, she does. I think she does. Okay, so she does like dash. Just playing awkward to do it. So if I go to a spot where she would like dash, then I'll be able to show you it better. If the game would just cooperate with me. Right, here's one. We go near it and then we... There we go. Amy does like dash. So, yep, that's Amy. Now we're going to try it with Metal Sonic. Let's see what he's like. Metal Sonic's actually really, really good. Like, um, he's quite overpowered, actually, because not only is he really fast, but in two-player mode, you get, like, these, um... So he, like, dashes, too. And, um... But the thing is, like, every character has, like, a bonus, like, um... Has, like, a bonus, like, move, like, depending how many rings that you collect. Metal Sonic doesn't have any of that. What he does, what he has instead, if you hold the action button he puts himself into a shield like this it basically kills anybody that he touches it with at least i think he can kill people with it but it's quite overpowered actually so like um that's why metal sonic is quite a beast and uh well he's not a beast here because he's showing me up like over there there we go yeah, I just want to show. I'm trying to show, like, going near an enemy with it. See if it, it would kill them. Because, oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, look, hold on. Oh, it doesn't defend against that, but... Okay, so it does kind of kill. It's, it's quite overpowered because you can dodge, like, um attacks and stuff so that's dan's game on that part yeah he does like dash as well but for this one like i'm just gonna get this out of the way like tails on his own no machine quite hilarious actually because well i mean eggman's more hilarious than this but tails has the tail swipe and um you jump then you press it he he flies for days so and it's not like sonic adventure like the tail whip's kind of awkward in this game but he does do that he's not very fast and um he doesn't spin jump either so that's a bit down's game on tails part but yeah other than that he's quite powerful like when he's jumping because he jumps super high and he can fly like this so yep pretty good i would say but eggman <laughs> no, eggman on his own oh that's a laugh <laughs> like what can he do on his own absolutely nothing he's got this useless kick and he can only attack enemies when he's nearby and uh, he slaps you like this slaps you silly and he kicks like that so and he he moves surprisingly fast on his own but then again he runs faster than sonic like in the original game so <laughs> then he's like Ew! and he kicks him boom kick, kicking bishop brennan up the bum <laughs> I mean, I know that's not the actual line, but I'm trying to keep the language down for the kids watching this. <laughs> he doesn't jump very high, though, so that's a bit dance game. So Eggman is literally useless on his own. It's no wonder he needs a robot to do this with. <laughs> but yep, that's Eggman on his own. All right, and ladies first, let's try Tikal. Tikal is quite interesting, actually. I didn't think she was capable of gliding. Well, then again, she's an echidna, so I wouldn't be surprised if she did. She punches like knuckles. But yeah, they all basically control the same. It's not really a new thing. They glide. They go on the ground like that. On the walls like this. And yep, that's basically it. But yep, that's Takal. And of course, let's try out Chaos. So, 
And here is Chaos. Also glides, which I don't remember him ever doing that in Sonic Adventure. Doesn't glide through that. And he punches as well, I think. Yeah, but he's, he punches quite far, actually, because he's got, like, the... He stretches out, like, the Mr. Fantastic from <laughs> the Fantastic Four. But he does also dig. He glides. And, yep, yeah, that's basically all it for Chaos. So, yep, yeah, that's really it for the characters. And before you wonder, like, what is the purpose of getting all the emblems? Like, what does that lead you with? And what's the purpose of getting all the A-Ranks too? Getting all the emblems and all the A-Ranks, it actually unlocks a new level. And what new level is this? It's this right here. Doesn't even tell you what the level is or anything. So when we enter it, Character select. traditionally it's Sonic that you play for this one. As you can see, it is a 3D remake of the original Sonic 1's Green Hill Zone. Basically capturing every aspect of it. So they did what they could to try and capture the original Green Hill Zone. It's quite a cool bonus, like, once you unlock it. That's a crumbling platform, which is pretty cool. <laughs> they, they added everything. I mean, even though you have to turn now in this, which is weird because this is originally a 2D game, but they done it in a way to make it suitable for a 3D. Could you imagine they actually make a 3D remake like of Sonic 1 and they actually added the levels to be like this? I, I think this could work, like, if the game developers would put their mind to it and everything. But yeah, I, I think it could work. Maybe for like the 40th anniversary or something. Like we could give Zegger ideas. Hey, <laughs> that's something. Who needs Sonic Adventure 3 when you got this? Right. And here's the famous part. That's the one where you go through all these and then you... And that's the rings that's in the sky. And so if the camera would just turn, please. Right, there we go. It's even got the jump sound effect. Yeah, that's pretty sick, actually. I'm, I'm glad they done that. Like, they put all that effort into it. And there's the goal. Boom. Yes! That's the only disappointing thing, though. I wish they would have added the... That one instead of the... I got a C rank for that. I mean, it's not like the, the rank like counts for anything in that one but yep i believe that's everything for the bonus stuff so i guess in the next level in the next episode we're just gonna do the the last story so i will see you until that so until then that's gonna conclude this episode so thank you so much for watching and as per usual if you liked what you've seen Please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit the bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that me or Brad produce on his channel. I've been Kieran of Gaming Weekly Update, and we will see you in the next video or live stream. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.